Hey everyone, welcome back to the Do It For Dale 2.0 series of NASCAR Thunder 2003. Uh, today we're going to do race 17 at 36. We're going to Daytona for the night race. Um, last time we went to Daytona was 4 to 500. Um, I'll be honest with you, I don't remember where I finished, but... I can't go out, I gotta use the analog. Uh, Dale Jr., uh, oh yeah, I forgot, it was the beach. Uh, so this is the first time we're actually going to Daytona because I forgot we went to the beach and... It didn't go well, let's say that. The beach didn't go well, because I forgot we went to the beach to start the season. This time, we're going to the actual Daytona International Speedway. So we're going, instead of the beach, we're going to the actual speedway that's now known today. So, uh, I think later in the year we got Timrod. I'm going to be a little worried about that. Because Timrod is replacing for the second New Hampshire race. But anyway, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I'm really, I'm feeling good for it, but we're going with the regular Good Ranch car for Daytona. And, uh, as far as the points, I'm up by 139 on Dale Jess, so basically it's the Dale and Dale show. At the moment. And obviously, we don't know what the, the car's gonna be yet, so. Um. Anyway, i settings, I'm gonna show you them because I know a lot of people complain to me, but 25%. And the same difficulty, legend. So anyway, without further ado, let's jump into Daytona! So here is the qualifying set, because when we go to Daytona, or for the race, we're gonna go with the default set, but here's the qualifying set, the gear ratio is gonna be the same, so... Um, I guess we'll jump into the qualifying, because here you really, you don't need, like, you don't need any practice last, because all you're doing, all you're doing is, you're going wide open around the track, so... So right now, we're gonna qualify and see where we start. Alright, I'll be turning four right now to the start finish on first half four nine twenty seven quad by thirty fifth. So we start here on the second letter. The second letter should be a lot faster because then again we got the speed and we'll see about our second. Thirty first, Jesus Christ, not a lot there. It's like we all do well in quad, but when it comes to the race, we do so so well. But uh alright. Let me change the setup. I can't go up with the stick button or something like that. I don't know what the problem is, but all right. manual. Try to all the way up to 30. That's it. That's all we're changing. And we'll start the race. Tonight, it's super speedway action under the lights. MRN is live at the Daytona International Speedway this evening with flag to flag coverage of the Pepsi 400. With the history and prestige here at this track, the team seem to be all pushing themselves just a little harder this week. There's no doubt about it. A lot of these NASCAR Winston Cup drivers will tell you that it's really no different winning here than anywhere else. But those are the guys who haven't done it yet. Once their name is in the history books here, I guarantee you they'll change their mind. Something a little out of the ordinary in this one for Dale Earnhardt. You're right, it's going to be tough for him. You get so used to starting up front, and then you have an off week, and you have to start towards the back. Then when race day comes, you feel like you passed a thousand cars at the end. And worse yet, sometimes you never make it to the front. Frustration. An unusual back-of-the-pack start for Jeff Burton. Yeah, he was due for one of these bad starts, though. Nobody can start up front all year. You're going to have a bad qualifying run now and then. 
Jimmy Spencer must have had problems in qualifying this week. You know, I spoke with the guys from that team in the garage this morning, and they said they tried something a little different in qualifying this week. They learned their lesson, though. Stick with what works, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Here we go in Daytona. Gentlemen, start your engines. All right, so Terry Labonte and Steve Park in the front row. Let's get rolling here in Daytona. And run right away in Daytona for the night race. So, yeah, this is the night race. This is not the 500. We didn't do the 500 this season. Last season we did the night race. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, it's going to get a little hard just to get out to the front. I think we're going to have to get out to the front as fast as possible when the guys are still together like this. We're going to have to get as many positions as we possibly can. But so far, so good. As long as the pack stays good, I feel like we got a shot. But we gotta get as many spots as we can. As you can see, they're about to get spread out out there already. Not what I wanted to see. We, I need to get, we need to get as many spots as possible. I need to stay in the draft here, because if I don't, I'm gonna lose a lot of spots. I'm gonna lose time. That's what I don't want. I want to lose time. I want to start gaining time, make my way up to the front. It's always good to race on these tracks, though. Looks like they're still in the game, which is good to see. And we're gonna try to go to the bottom, make it three wide on Rusty. Robbie Gore's gonna try to help me out a little bit. Looks like they're, they're stalling a little bit. We're in the top 20. And they're still in the game a little bit, so we, we can get up to the field. It's right behind our son. And like I said, it's never easy to get up to the front of tracks like this. Takes a lot of speed, and here we come. We're up the 15th, and it's been two laps. So in two laps, I'm up half of what I started. I started 31st, remember that. And I'm up to 14th in like two laps, which is kind of crazy. But we're still together, which is good to see. This is not like... It's not like... They're driving away from me. I'm still keeping up, but then I got the tire pressures up, so... Oh, whoops, I got in the back of McMurray. My bad, but... I, but, you know, I'm still within striking distance of this front pack, so that's good for me. I don't know why Marlon's going to the top. I need to go to the bottom, just so I can stay in his draft. But like I said, tracks like this, I need to stay in the draft to keep up. Hopefully they don't drive off from me. A second and a half back. At, it looks like we're closing back in. Hold on to run the bottom. He does. That's good for me. Trying to catch up to him. Now, also, we got our son behind. Oh, yeah, I caught them. I'm in their draft. And I'm here. I caught the top 12. It's good to see. Almost 200 miles an hour, so we have caught the front pack. But how long is it going to take us to get up to the front? And it looks like we got a split between me, Junior, and then looks like we got a split between their teeth on back. A second, that's okay, because now we're up towards the front of the pack. And here we go for 11th place on Sterling Marlin. And maybe a top 10 spot. Oh, no, he's going to pull out in front of me. How dare he? All right, for a top 10 spot on Scott Wimmer. Gore's going to try to protect the ball, but he's going to open it wide for me to take it. Three wide for seventh place. And up to seventh. And six. We're working our way to the field. For a top five spot in five laps, yep. 
in the top five in five laps. Will it take another 10 laps to see the lead? We'll see. So the top there is slow pull away a little bit. And like I said, staying in the draft is very important. Oh boy, almost got into the body there. All right, we're in the top five. Took me five and a half laps. I was fifth in the start finish line. Oh, sorry, the body! Steve Park's underneath me. I've got to give him the inside lane. Hopefully, I'm clear. Ah, Gordon took the advantage. Sorry! All right, back to six, but that's okay. All right, all right, Steve Park, you better get her to lead the 98 car. Because I'll push you. Have you? Yeah. Oh, we're with Kane, is it? You don't want him. You don't want to work with the boss. I'll get around you. Up to fifth. All right, here we come with the speed down the back stretch. And for fourth place, we are here for the battle for the lead. They take me long. And remember, Dale's always good on tracks like this, so. And right now it shows we're up to third. We're going for throw on Jeff Green. This will be for a podium. We have ran him down. And here we go for second place. I'll tear the body. And up to second. Maybe the lead. And for the lead. And to the lead. That was easy. I went all the way up to the front. And it looks like we're gonna lead the first lap. We're gonna lead our first lap and get our five points. Which is beautiful scenes of glorious emotions. So we're gonna lead the first we're gonna lead our first lap of the night. Beautiful scenes and we're gonna relax for a bit. Here comes Jeff Green to the outside to me for the race lead. And it looks like it's me. Um, it's me, Jeff Green, uh, Kyle Penny, and Terry Labonte. So it looks like our show guys are going for the lead. I think Jeff Green's going to take it from me. This can lead his first lap, but so far so good. And Jeff Green has taken the lead, so he's going to lead. He's going to lead a lap. We'll try, we'll try to stay near the front pack as much as we can, or try to stay in the draft. Because like I said, staying in the draft is very important. But, looks like, looks like fifth on back is trying to catch back up to us. Turn the ball on my inside. Gotta get in the draft quick. Alright, looks like I can here. Cannot lose the front pack. Looks like Kyle Bay's going to the bottom, that's what I really need. Cannot lose the front pack. Got to run the tug because that's where all the draft is. Alright, so staying up near the front. Going back to the bottom. Oh, we'll start seeing pit stops. Unless that's a car blowing up. We'll see who it is up here. That is Rusty. It's like Rusty already making pit stops. I mean, we're at that point where we, can, we could see green flag pit stops, and the halfway point of this race is around lap 20. And this is a very short race, about 100 miles, and it'll go by fast. We're already on lap 15. And yeah, but the good thing is, I'm still in the front pack, and it looks like fifth on back is trying to run us down. And it all depends on when these guys up here pit. I want to stay with these guys as much as I can, because... At tracks like this, I, I say I tell league, but at tracks like this, I'm going for the lead. And almost like that lap. Um, you have to pin with a couple, you have to pin with a group of cars, because if you don't, you're going to lose a lot of spots. So you can't pin by yourself, because if you pin by yourself, you're going to lose a lot of time, you're going to lose the draft. So the key, 
I'm paying tracks like this is to stay with the front pack and pit with a couple other cars. But anyways, we're back up to the front. And we're going to take four tires to stay with everyone else. Well, if I speed, I'm going to take rights. So, I, I don't think I'm planning on speeding on pit road. But if I do, I'm just going to take right sides to save some time up here. But it looks like fifth on back is reeling us down. And now we got a little horse race for this top spot. And we're almost closing in on the halfway point. So, car's handling good. Oh, Kyle Pay fucked up behind me. Now Matt Kenton is up to second place. And, yeah, car's handling good without further ado. I guess we're going to relax and, yeah, relaxation time for a little bit. Somebody is blowing up up here, and it is Ken Schrader. And we're at the halfway point. Nothing's happening. Still up near the front. As we're coming to the 20 to go on board, well, we're basically the halfway point of this race. And like I said, these races fly by quick. Well, basically, if it's shorter, they go by fast. And looks like the guys up front are staying out. And they're staying out. I'm staying out. And here's the Pepsi toying to go on board for Daytona. I want to see more of those lives. Gotcha. And so far, so good. Still up near the front. Starry 31st. And quickly we're way up the field. It looks like Terry's going to try to pass me on the high side. I don't mind that, but toying to go with Daytona. It looks like it's going to stay right there behind me. I mean, I'll take it. It's going to stay up near the front. Like I said, so far so good. No aggressive moves being made. Only fell back to four, but that's okay. But ever since I got up to the front, I, I was able to stay with the front pack. And now it's just a matter of time on when did the front guys pit. And it looks like behind me they're still going to stay out. And Jeff Green's going to try to get to the outside of me. And yeah, there he is. He's on the high side. And we're going to handle the lead at the moment. And again, it's just a matter of time when these guys are going to head down pit road, so. Oh, Jack Gray almost passed me on the inside there. And again, it's just a matter of time when these guys are going to head down pit road. And if they, if they go down pit road, I'm going down pit road. And looks like they're all staying out at the moment. I'll see all the way I pit, maybe. Well, since some cars behind me are going to head down pit road, I'm going to head down pit road as well. I think some cars behind me are going to head into the pit, so I'm going to head in. I want to see if that's true. Yeah, Jeff Green's going to head up pit road, so I'm going to head in. Oh, it's going to plow me in the ass! Okay, thanks, Junior, for plowing me in the ass. Now I've got to fix it. Um, Yeah. I had to fix the cars, the dog got plowed in the ass, so yeah. Let's shoot here and, and Jeff Green for plowing me in the ass. You don't know how to use your brakes. And because of that, I gotta sit on pit road and fix the damn car. And there we go. And the controller worked this time, wow. In my film session, the controller didn't even cooperate correctly, but... And yeah, um... It worked this time, and we're gonna stay up near the front! Which is really good to see. And yeah, now the car's gonna be slow, it's just how I got damage to it. Now see you will we'll see what we cycle out. Well, it looks like everyone else is going to cycle through, and I just don't have the speed right now because about two motherfuckers behind me, and my son included, and they're exiting the pits. Now we're going to have to wait and see where we truly cycle out, but we're going to be in the top ten, so that's nice, but the problem is we're going to lose so much time because of the pit sequence. I had to fix the car and all of that. So we lost so much time. We're going to cycle out in like 6th, maybe. 
I don't think I'll have the speed that I once had, so. Um, yeah, we're gonna struggle. And we're gonna need a quick caution. We're gonna need a caution, or else we're not gonna get the best finish we need. Well, that's what the two get behind for damaging my car. That's what they both get. They're the ones that damaged my car, so they deserve it. As you see, we got 10 laps to go. I annihilated Steve Park for damaging my car. <laughs> and he got into Junior in the process, so... That's what they get. That's what they get for ruining my race. So... Yeah, it's not my fault. Because I try to take it easy, and they're, they don't know how to use their damn brakes. But, looks like 7th... Looks like at the moment, 7th is all we're going to get, but still not too bad. Top 10 result, but... Should have been a damn win, to be honest, but... But the problem is... The AIs behind don't want to work with you unless you get behind them and they push you. And you push them. That's the only way they're going to make progress. We're going to try to let him by and try to work with him. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to let Marlon by and try to work with him and see if we can gain some time since there's nobody around us. Where is he? Alright, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna let him by, but if he gets a run, we're gonna we're gonna let him by here. Just so we can make some progress. Now, we got a lot of we got a lot of ground. Yeah, if he wants to pass me, we'll let him go to the bottom. And we gotta get behind him quick. It looks like we get behind him here. And we're gonna, we're gonna try to make some progress. So hopefully Mar doesn't get away from me. Looks like he ain't at the moment. We gotta stay in his draft. Hopefully he doesn't go to the top, because if he goes to the top, we're not gonna gain a lot of time, but... We're nine, we're four seconds back, so... We're gonna try to make, we're gonna try to make up some time, so... We're gonna shut up and focus and see if we can make up some time. All right, five laps to go. Uh, me and Marlon are closing in. I'm working with Marlon, and he's going to the bottom every time, which I'd love to see. Because if you go to the bottom, you're going to gain a lot of time, but... I don't know if top five is possible. I mean, I don't know if the two up there are working together, but I'm working with Marlon, and because of that, we're gaining a lot of time, so... But, but, but will it be enough to get a top five? I, I think it's enough, but I just don't know. If Marlon keeps showing the bottom, those two are working together, me and Marlon are, so... I think a top five is still possible with about five laps to go, so... A top five is still possible, but... I'll take a top five regardless, I mean, that's good, that's good points, so... And we're gaining on them. We got four laps to go, and I'm still working with Marlon. And yeah, we pulled away from ninth on back, which is good to see, because if they were, if they were behind us, I don't think we would have made a lot of progress, so... Those two aren't working together up there well with me and Marlon, but... And of course, I have to work with the guy that killed me in, two, in the 2001 Daytona 500, but... I mean, hey, it's working! I mean, we're, we're closing in, it's just... Are we gonna have enough laps, is the question. I think we will, because... Looks like we're closing in... And they're not working together up there, and me and Marlon are, so we're closing in... A lot, but a win is not possible at this moment, but we'll see. And yeah, we gain a lot of time, and a top five is still possible, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, we're closing. We got about two and a half laps to go. But hey, a top five is still good, but I wish, and there's the full moon, I, I wish I would have went with this move a lot sooner. Ever since the Jeff Green Jr. annihilation happened, I felt like I would have went to this move sooner. And yeah, we're closing. And they are not working together up there. I think that's Steve Park and Terry LeBlanc. They are not working together. And me and Marlon are. And because of that, we gain on them. And we're coming to two laps to go at Daytona. Two more laps to go. Yeah, we're gaining on it, but it's just we're not going to have enough laps, but a top five is definitely possible. 
And because of that, we gain, yeah, that's Terry Labonte. We've gained all both of them because they're not working together. Let's see behind Marlin here, and because of that, we've caught them. What about a lap and a half to go? And guys, like I said, top five is possible. I don't think I'm going to ditch Marlin just yet. And we reeled him in. But anyway, the leader's coming to the white flag. Final lap in Daytona. And a top five is definitely possible. I have Randy's meme on. I both ran him down, but I'm going to ditch him. I'm trying to get myself a top five finish. A top five finish is still decent points. I have ditched Sterling. Trying to get myself a fifth place here. So we're down the back stretch. They're trying to catch them with my old speed. Well, I ran them down. I'm gonna go to the bottom here. Will it be enough time? Maybe. Off of four, someone's gonna win this race. Will I get fifth from Terry? Here we come to the finish line. And will I get fifth? Take it. I want to see how close that finish was. Bobby the Bonnie wins at Daytona. The race came down to the wire with a very close finish. You know, you've seen a great race when it gets to the last lap and you still have no idea who's going to win. Dale Earnhardt will get a top five for his efforts. Oh, I'm sure he's happy with that finish. Mm -hmm. If he can get the win, the top five will still keep you pretty happy. This has been NASCAR Winston Cup Racing. Brought to you by EA Sports and MRN. So long. We'll see you next week at the Chicago Land Speedway. And yeah, that's what happened there. I want to see how close this battle was. Yeah, this is where. Yep, yeah, that's what Junior and Jeff, and Jeff Green get. I want to see how close this battle is. Wow, we're gonna see how close this battle is. Right there. That's how close it was. Unfortunately, we can't pause it, but that's how close it was. I mean, I managed to get fifth, which is good for me. And because of that, we're going to get a lot of points on Dale Jarrett. I don't know where Dale Jarrett finished. He didn't, he didn't run well. Where did he finish? He finished 13th. And... He didn't, he didn't lead a lap. How many laps did I lead? I led 13. Gorn also led 30. Oh, shit. Here we go. Me and Gorn both led the most laps, so we both get 10 points. And, yeah, we'll set the points. Next is Chicago, and for that game testing, this track's going to be pretty rough. So next week, next week's going to be rough. I'll tell you that. Next week will be rough. And let's see how big our point lead is. We're up by 108 points over Dale Jarrett, so we did gain. We're basically up by, we're almost up by a whole race. So if I fuck up, it's not going to affect me too much, so... Well, it's that's good on my side, so... I won 12 races this year, which is kind of crazy. So I won all but six races this year. For this season, which is kind of crazy. But, um, anyway, um, I'll see you all for Chicago next week. And... I'll see you all there. As always, have a good day, everyone.